What's up, Aries? So good to meet you. It's my first Aries video of the whole channel. I'm super excited to be starting this, sharing the wealth, sharing the enlightenment. I hope it resonates with you today, this message for October 2018. If it doesn't, please check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, or hit me up and we will talk one-on-one -on -one and see what's going on for you. So I like to do a five-card spread. It's all very general. Nothing uh, specific to love or career unless the card itself reads that way. We're going to start first with the theme, challenge, unexpected advice, and then the outcome for the month. So again, first card, the theme for the month of October. So we enter Libra season, we're leaving Virgo season, deep contemplation, lots of alone time for some of us. I'm a Taurus. Um, definitely lots of introspection for me. So what's been going on for you though? What's the theme for this month for Aries? October 2018. What is the theme for Aries? I don't have a lot of Aries in my life, at least not currently. At one point I had a few of you fiery, fiery people in my life. Almost came out. What is the theme for this month for you? Aries. Been a lot going on. I've seen a couple of the same cards as I shuffled through. Been in our heads a little bit. All right, here's our theme. All right, the Nine of Wands. You look at this character, he's been fighting. He's been fighting real hard against a lot, okay? Um, against those eight other wands. He does have higher ground, okay? If you see, he's standing above the rest of them. So he's, he's in a good position. However, he is a little bruised. He's a little worse for the wear. Okay, he's having... He's coming out of having to, to fight, to defend himself, to, yeah, to defend himself. Maybe you've had, in the month of September, maybe you've had to defend your passions or prove yourself to some individuals. Perhaps you felt like it was you against the world. A okay. very fiery energy matches your your sign as an Aries. Very f fiery. Okay. So coming out of that sort of energy, that's what you've been dealing with, huh? Hmm. What's your challenge this month then? What's your challenge? So as a fiery individual, you gotta defend yourself a lot, I'm sure. Having to defend your beliefs, your morals, your values. Okay. Challenge this month. Two of Cups. And that looks pretty romantic. However, it doesn't have to be that way. Could be um, a personal relationship with a friend, a family member, a job. Um, any sort of relationship, but it's highlighted here under your challenge position. Okay, so after after this coming out of this feeling like you have to defend yourself, this could bleed into your interpersonal relationships with other individuals. Okay, perhaps they have a difficult time understanding you this season. Also, I think it's important to mention that 
Venus is going retrograde at the beginning of the month for about 10 days-ish, maybe two weeks. I'm not an astrologer. I don't, I don't have all of the dates. However, I do know that Venus retrograde is going to affect relationships and your self-esteem within these relationships. And so for this to show up as a challenge this month makes a lot of sense. Um, so just be aware of that with the people you're relating to. It could be that people are hypersensitive. Okay? They're dealing and carrying around with their own their own self-esteem issues. And so communications could be a little stifled or your attempts to connect with other people might be bogged down a little bit by their own emotions, okay? Not everyone is going to realize that, hey, Venus is in retrograde and so my self-esteem and my self is being highlighted. They're not, they're probably not going to be that self-aware. So for you as an emotionally intense, a very fiery, passionate individual, um, you might find it harder to relate to people. You might find that people take your words to heart a little bit more than you're used to. Uh, you might find people are more sensitive uh, than you're used to. And as a result, these interpersonal relationships might be a little more difficult to navigate, but not if you keep this in the back of your mind, right? That people are going to be more sensitive. Okay, that senses are heightened at this time. Awareness is heightened. Your impact on others is heightened. You might think that what you say or do is not that big of a deal, but to somebody else, it definitely could be this month. Unexpected, we had the Hermit card pop out. So if you are connecting with a Virgo, this is definitely highlighted here. Um, potential relationship challenges with your Virgo, be it a son, daughter, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever the case may be. However, if this hermit is not a person for you and it's the energy, unexpectedly you might feel a little more withdrawn. It's like this character here. You might feel like you need to take a break from the people around you, that you need a respite, that you need more time to yourself to cool off, to reevaluate, to power up. Um, it could be that you need more time to respond to an offer, right? The two of cups are offering each other cups. So it could be that an offer is coming to you this month and you need more time to think about it. Or again, it could be that a person coming towards you, um, Virgo with that sort of introspective, kind of contemplative, energy. So what are you supposed to do with this? Let's look at your advice for this month. What are you supposed to do with this energy here? How, how can you best move forward knowing that this is coming towards you? Advice, Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups is all about the emotional realm. She, I, I'm holding this all funny. <laughs> She's all about the emotional realm. She is very intuitive, very intuitive and in touch with her emotions and the emotions of others. So much so that she is able to feel into the future because of this, because of her ability to emote and her ability to be in touch with herself. She can anticipate the future and in a lot of senses since people are going to be more more sensitive at this time it would be advantageous for you if you could tap into the energy of the people around you you can take a moment to empathize and to get a feel for the others around you before you before you act before you say too much right? To, to get into your softer side, you're more, uh, as an Aries, you're a fire sign. The queen of cups, obviously water sign. 
So get in touch more with that, more with the feeling and less concern with the doing and going after things. Be receptive is what I'm getting here. Be receptive to others, how they feel, what they say. Um, receive versus doing, right? You're coming out of a fight here. You're coming out of something where you were pushing forward, where you were defending. And now it's time to sit back a little bit um, and to, to observe, to to receive, okay, receive some insight through the emotional realm. What can you glean? What can you gain from tapping into that aspect of you and relying less on the fire? What, what connections can you make by stretching yourself to be more in touch with your emotional softer side? See the outcome. If you do these things, what's your outcome for this month? Outcome. Or Aries this month. Lots of water here. Even the Two of Cups is water and earth. You're being asked to stretch yourself out of your normal comfort zone so that you can make more meaningful connections. You have two outcome cards here. The Knight of Wands, which is all fire, all you, and the Three of Wands, which is about fire again and using that creative energy. This guy's thinking about his future. We have here the past, the present, but he has his hand on the future and the things that he is trying to accomplish, his goals, his, his end goal, he's surveying the land, he's imagining his possibilities, okay? And the Knight of Wands, a messenger, he has something to say, he's going in the direction of his passions, okay? He's making meaningful gains, right? So with this as your outcome for, for the month, a, maybe a clearer perspective on where it is that you would like to go, where it is that you would like to end up, and then taking the step in that direction, right? there, He's sort of galloping, not as fast as the Knight of Swords, but he is still galloping towards what it is that he wants because he spent that time um, contemplating, because he spent that time softening the edges he is now opened up new opportunities for himself. Okay, he is ready to communicate. He is ready to be heard. He is ready to further his own goals. Okay, he's ready to, to make the, the necessary step. Okay, so by spending this time contemplating, reassessing, reevaluating, tapping into the other aspects of the Aries personality. You are then setting yourself up for further clarity and steps toward achieving your, your goals. I wanna see using numerology, what messages we have to support this. What messages do we have? My neighbor just walked by. What messages do we have to support this spread for October 2018 per Aries? We have patience. Okay, that Virgo card here, going inward, being patient, okay, awaiting insight, planning, but still providing patience to yourself and to others to catch up. <laughs> what else for Aries? Okay, we have financial discipline. Okay, so that you can afford to move toward the direction of your dreams. Last one, let's do three. 
I didn't see any pentacles coming out, so I'm not saying that money will be an issue. However, you know you want to make some moves. You know you want to expand. Hey, that three of wands has his eyes set out on, on more. On more possibilities, more potential. Um, and expansion often requires a little bit of money. Get that savings going. Get it stronger. Stop spending unnecessarily. Especially if you have a big goal you're trying to obtain or get to. Some of you are potentially planning weddings. Or moving in with somebody. Okay. Following a creative dream. All of that might require some financial discipline and some patience on your way there. Last card is out, completion, okay? Completion and success uh, are open for you this month. Patience, completion, fin financial discipline, okay? I think these messages, if heated, if you win, and use this time wisely, you can spend the month of October creating a beautiful foundation for yourself for 2019. Hey, this guy, this three of wands is looking at things far out into the future. He's not thinking about the past or even right now, he's thinking about the future. What does he want? In thinking about that, He is able to make his first steps toward making his dreams come true. And that is what I see for you guys as well. Definitely. I hope that resonated with you. Again, check out your sun, moon, and rising. And if you still have questions or concerns, hit me up. I would love to meet with you individually. Um, I do readings online in all capacities, so check me out. Okay, thank you so much for your time and your energy. I hope you have a beautiful October, and I'll see you soon. Bye.